sitting comfortable? Okay, well, just settle down, please, and I'll get going. Okay? Ready? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and they each decided to build themselves a house. Now, the first little piggy was a lazy little piggy-wiggy. <laughs> and he built his house from straw. The second little piggy wasn't too bright either. <laughs> and he built his house from twigs. But the third little piggy was smart. He was no dummy. He built his house of bricks. Smart piggy. <laughs> <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> oink again. <laughs> anyway, in the same village, there lived a wolf. A big wolf. A bad wolf. <laughs> a big, bad wolf. And this wolf would take no nonsense from anyone. Oh, and by the way, this big, bad wolf had absolutely loved pork. <laughs> Pork pies, pork scratchings, bacon specials, you know, pork sandwiches, anything, you name it, he'd eat it. <coughs> now, Wolfie goes for a walk around the village. He's one of those fitness freaks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the three little houses with the three little pigs in them. He licks his chops, <laughs> pinches himself, and thinks to himself, wow, this is my lucky day. <laughs> Pork paradise. <laughs> so Wolfie goes up to house number one, Wolfie knocks on the door. Well, now, how on earth you can knock on a straw door? I don't know, but uh, that's what it says here, so I'm not going to argue with it. <laughs> so, knock, knock. And in his most polite voice, Wolfie says, Piggy Wiggy, <laughs> little piggy. Little piggy, please let me in. Oh, no, no, no! Oinks the little pig, who knows the wolf when he sees <coughs> one. Knocked by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> now that's interesting, isn't it? Now a pig has a chin. <laughs> so when do pigs have chin? Well, um, let me in, says Wolfie again, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. No, says the pig, no, no, no. But Wolfie is a wolf of his word. So he huffs and he puffs and he blows the house down. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Exit piggy number one. <laughs> Requiem scat in pace. <laughs> now, uh, for pig number two, same story. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Arrivederci, porco. Numero due. <laughs> Buongiorno salami. <laughs> well now, 
I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to like this wolf. <laughs> After all, he's not chasing around some in the middle of winter, freezing his butt off chasing snow bunnies, is he? He's not running around in Sarah Palin's Alaska. <laughs> he just walks up to a pig's house and blows it down. <laughs> Okay, so now Wolfie is standing outside the house of Piggy Wiggy number three. They both take up their battle positions. <laughs> Let me in. No, no. I will huff and I'll puff. Oh, go away. So Wolfie says, okay, Piggy, don't say I didn't warn you. So Wolfie huffs, huff, huff, he puffs, puff, puff, <laughs> boom, da boom, da boom. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Don't forget this is a brick house, and brick houses don't just blow over, do they? So Wolfie gets himself a ladder and climbs up on the roof of the house. But Piggy spots him climbing him up on the roof. Wolfie makes for the chimney. Piggy lights the fire in his grate. Wolfie goes down the chimney and he burns. <laughs> Happily ever after. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs>